welcome to my first video about nature coaching. I'm really excited and extremely looking forward to sharing this video with you. Hmm, nature coaching, what is that all about? And by the way, who's going to be my coach? Could it be the river? What about the rock? Could it be the tree? Is it maybe you? Me? And to begin with, we would like to introduce ourselves. I'm the coachy and the client with the orange jacket. And I'm the coach with the green jacket. In nature coaching, the coach offers a space where a process can unfold naturally and which is not about the interaction between the coach and the client, but where nature acts as the teacher. The coach offers and holds a safe space, opens his perception for possibilities that might arise, mirrors the client if necessary, and asks open questions like how, what, where, and when. By means of the law of resonance, nature serves as a mirror and a space for experience. Things that are on our same wavelength attract us or repel us. Both have something in common with us and deliver a message. Generally, we prefer to only see the positive messages. We like to avoid the unpleasant ones. This is when the coach comes in, who makes sure that we have a closer look. Why is there something that I don't want to see and reject? We have our very own insights and conclusions and recognize ourselves out in nature. Our experiences and the messages we get are entirely on an individual basis and completely subjective. We see the world through our own glasses. Nobody else can tell us the value of the experience we have gone through. Only we ourselves, and only we ourselves can implement the insights. Roads and paths can represent our life's journey. Intersections, crossroads in our life, and a pending decision. Animals can give us important hints and touch us deep inside. From high up places and mountains, we can look down on something from a safe distance to get an overview. Oftentimes, we can breathe easily and with relief. Rivers transmit a feeling of movement and aliveness and can support us to get into the flow and connect us with our feelings. The sea can remind us of freedom, vastness and infinity. The forest can convey security and comfort, but also the feeling of danger, depending on what is relevant for us in the moment. So much for today and I'm really looking forward to meeting you again at the next video about attraction, alienation and mindfulness. And if you wouldn't like to miss any further videos about nature coaching or other interesting topics, then please remember to sign up to my YouTube channel. Nature is waiting for us. And we've almost forgotten. My name is Oliver Farago. And my one as well. Thank you.